What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is John Quinn here and welcome back to another slice of John's life. Today, I'm gonna be updating you guys on my current Zoom Zoom collection. As you can see here, all my Zoom Zooms are stacked in these cupboards, boxes, display cases, whatever you will call it. And then of course my new emails down here as well as some other munchlings, uh, painting, uh, but 95% of my Disney collection currently is right here with some other paintings uh, and plushes uh, next to my bed, which uh, you guys can't see anymore because I switched locations. As you can see, I'm now in front of my desk with all my new emails. I figured this is a way better place to sit and talk to you guys because you guys can see my entire collection. I love sitting on my bed and doing the video, but I couldn't really have a nice backdrop because I couldn't put my display cases over there uh, on my nightstand. So here we are guys. And today is pretty hot, so bear with me. I am sweating already. I'm trying my best to um, go through this video without sweating too much. But yes, you guys heard it. Today we're gonna be doing a updated uh, video on my current Zooms and collection. And I said in my last video of, of my Disneyland parks uh, haul, I said that I have included maybe around 150 to 200 new new emails since my last video on it uh, and I think that was the import service from Japan from Tokyo Kawaii Club so it has been quite a long time and I have added so many new sets um, most of them are complete but then some of them are not complete I want to focus first on the complete ones since I'm still on the hunt for some characters in certain sets so uh, so today we're gonna be going through I'm gonna say maybe let's do four three to four sets if it's like really big sets I'll do like three uh, but if it's like smaller sets I'll do like maybe four uh, just so that way we have uh, continuity going just because I have so many new additions that I want to do maybe three parts just so I can get everything introduced to you guys just so you can see my new uh, updated collection but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into it uh, for this new video I'm gonna do a different format we're gonna be doing the talking here but I have a different uh, vision if you will on how I'm gonna present the new, the new emails I mean the zoom zooms to you guys I'm not gonna have them here in my hand and point it to the camera anymore I'm gonna do a different angle uh, uh, set up so that you guys can get a good overview of it uh, and that way it'll help the camera also focus on the new emails instead of my face or um, anything behind me so it'll definitely be better uh, this way so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright so here's an overview of what we're going to be talking about today. I pulled some sets off the shelf and then let's go ahead and start uh, talking about it. So we got uh, Alien dressed up as Mr. Fredrickson so uh, if you guys don't know there's a couple of different aliens dressed up as different characters. There's there's a decent amount. I think there's probably six or seven different ones but I got Mr. Fredrickson and then over here we got Incredibles 1 and 2. Aristo Cats. We got a Target exclusive superhero theme from Mickey and Friends. Over here we have Duffy and Shelly Luna New Year theme. And then we're going to end it off with a Pocahontas. So let's go ahead and get to it guys and let's go ahead and do an overview of all the different zoom zooms we have here in hand today. Alright what's up guys we're back and now we're going to go ahead and talk about each of the zoom zoom sets. So we'll start first with the alien dressed up as Mr. Fredrickson from Up. If you guys don't recognize him with his glasses, his bow tie. He doesn't have his cane unlike the Mr. Fredrickson zoom zoom version but he does have the bottle cap 
um, I guess that you use as merits, right? So um, if you guys are not familiar, there are other costumes that the aliens wear. I know that there is a Jake Sully Sullivan and a Mike Wazowski version uh, of these guys and they dressed up as the Monsters Inc. characters. And I know there's other way, way many more variations. Um, there's also one that has like a little crane grabbing it. And I also saw a couple other ones. There's some that's in a rocket ship and they have different uh, emojis and expressions. <clears throat> now, I don't know if I'm gonna collect the other ones. They are cute, but they are very expensive. I solemnly ever see these on eBay and Mercari. They seem to be pretty rare, especially from Japan. You'd have to import this, if anything, and they get really expensive. I think the seller was listing this particular guy for $20. I was able to get it down to, I think, $15 or, or $10, I forgot. And the seller had the Mike Wazowski and the Jake Sullivan one as well, but yeah just a bit expensive and then i saw the crane one for like 40 dollars i've seen it sell for much less but yeah at the moment they're a bit too pricey for my budget and i get it they're very rare and hard to find so yeah we'll see but for now he will be my first and probably last for now i do have the toy story variant in my collection but yeah we're gonna go ahead and show him off all right next up we have the Incredibles 2 release. So I said in the intro video that this is Incredibles 1 and 2. I was mistaken. This is only Incredibles 2. So when they released this back in uh, June of 2018, this was released under as Incredibles 2. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about them. I'll go ahead and push this aside. Camera angle is a little weird. Still trying to learn about this, but. Anyways, if you guys have ever seen Incredibles 2, then you'll know that this is Monster Jack-Jack. So if you guys never watched Incredibles 2, um, everyone finds out that Jack-Jack does have abilities, but he has like three or four different abilities. So one of them is he's able to turn into this enraged version of himself. And um, yeah, which is really cool. So all around, and I believe this was probably bought in the US. Um, I think Incredibles 2 was only released in the US and UK, so Japan for once doesn't get uh, a set of Zoom Zooms. So Japan people had to import this from America and the UK. So yeah, so that's Jack-Jack enraged. And then we have Mr. Incredible right here with his little, um, I don't even know what to call that, but his little hair sticking out and his new suit, nothing under the belly. Got an extra thread here. Oh, look at that. And it even says Incredibles 2 on here. This is actually pretty rare. Um, not every every Zoom Zoom sets get a tag that specifies where they're from. Um, I know Star Wars and Marvel get separate tags, but it just says Star Wars and Marvel. It doesn't specify what episode it is uh, or what movie it is from. So this is actually really, really cool. Let me see if Jack Jack has one. Yeah, check that out. Okay. That's really cool, actually. I wish all Zoom Zooms did that. And then next we have Dash with his incredible speed in his suit. It's like, you know, some extra fabric there. And again, nothing under the belly. Okay. And then this one is regular version of Jack Jack in his suit. And I just love this little um, bottom portion. I forgot what this is called, but miners used to have this to open up to change out his diapers. I, th I thought that was a really cute detail. But, yep, nothing on his belly. Okay. And then we have Violet. She can turn invisible and create force fields. With her long hair and her um, headband, her hairband. Okay. And then we got Frozone. Check him out in his suit. Pretty simple, but. There he is. And then Elastigirl, or Mom, with her stretching ability. Nothing in her belly. Okay. All right, and then I saved this Jack-Jack last because this isn't actually from the Incredibles 2 set. This came from Japan's 25th anniversary uh, box. So 
uh, Japan does these anniversary bosses where there will be like 30 or 50 different Zoom Zooms um, stacked inside this box so you can purchase it. It's like a bulk deal for a bunch of unique um, variations and costumes of characters and this is one of them. As you can see he doesn't have the Incredibles 2 um, tag here and he doesn't have paper tags. So. Um, when you buy individual characters, you get all these paper tags to accompany them, and this usually sh sh shows the price. But in the Japan uh, anniversary boxes, none of the figures or the none of the Zoom Zooms have tags, uh, just because I guess it wouldn't fit if every character had uh, tags in there, or get ruined, or it's more of a pain to stack them in the box with tags. So they kind of forgo. Um, tags and that and that's the same with every single box set even if it's released in the US box sets will not contain paper tags just the tush tags so it calls tush tags so yeah that's gonna be Incredibles um, overview for you guys and um, surprisingly the Incredibles 2 set is incredibly rare and hard to find I kind of lucked out and I found a seller on eBay who was doing an auction on them and I was fighting with one other seller and I was able to get it for quite cheap. I think I paid less than $30 uh, and I don't remember if shipping was free or not but I think I paid less than $40 for the entire set and that's actually really really good. Um, if you consider how rare it is to find, I haven't found any other complete sets. And this one comes with the bonus Jack Jack. So that was a really, really good deal uh, I snagged. So pretty happy with that. All right, next up we have Aristocats. So I'll be honest with you guys, I have never watched Aristocats. I think I started pretty recently and I didn't finish. So there's that. So I don't really remember all of the characters' names. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me while I do some last minute research here. But um, I know the main character is Marie and she has the pink bow down there. Um, but other than that, I don't know the characters. And the reason why I got this Zim Zim set is because I thought it'd be really cute to add to the collection and who doesn't like cats? Um, so let's go ahead and start. Since we have the top of the litter here, we'll go with um, this one is Duchess. So Duchess, she's got the orange collar. And by the way, this entire set, except for Shungo and um, Rock Rockfort, uh, the mouse or rat. I don't know if he's a mouse or a rat, but these two are from the US release while the other five characters below, Duchess, including Duchess, Marie Tulu, Tulu, Burl Laws, and uh, Thomas O'Malley. These five characters are released in Japan, so they got their uh, D23 tag as well as their Japanese tags. So these are really, really hard to find, and they're very expensive. I also got lucky and I got the entire set for $45 with the exception of Thomas O'Malley. And I had to buy him separately because he was the US version when uh, the seller shipped it to me. So I wanted to complete it and get a Japanese version. So I was able to buy another one and I had a duplicate of the US version. Now the cool thing about the US version is um, the noses are kind of flat. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, the noses are in the J Japanese releases are flatter than the J than the US releases. So if you guys notice um, on Shungun, um, his noses kind of stick out. So um, the build quality is way different. So that thought that was really, really interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it and talk about Duchess. So the US version of Duchess, her color isn't actually orange. It's actually a different color. Um, I think it is, uh, it was yellow, yeah. So if you have the US version of Duchess, her color is actually yellow and not orange. And uh, she has she has a, a nose that sticks out, like I said, like a snout. So I think that, I thought that was really interesting. So yeah, a little collar. It doesn't extend to the bottom. So I guess they haven't, they hadn't thought of done doing that yet. Um, but I know later on they started like adding details down here as you can see for the alien with the bow tie um, Not all characters get stuff at the underbelly, but okay, so we got Duchess <clears throat> 
and then we have Marie and then there's two different versions of Marie there's one with two bows and one with one bow so I have the two bow version I don't know which one's more accurate but um, nonetheless she's really cute and then she got her whiskers she got these little sideburn hair love her ears with the pink inside and then the little collar that's pink and the little fluffy tail back here and uh, again nothing under the underbelly and then as you can see these retail for 600 uh, yen back in the day and then now we have Shungan. So this is one of the characters that was not released in Japan at all. So this is only released in the US and probably UK and maybe other places, but not in Japan. So looks like he has drumsticks on the sides. That's really cute. Um, I know that there's a band in Aristocats, so he's probably one of the band members. And I think there's two other characters I don't have, a Scat Cat, and I think there's one more. I forgot what his name is. It is Hit Cat. So those are the two cats I don't have. Those were released separately from this set, so I don't have them yet. So it is incomplete technically, but that's fine. I think this is as complete as it will be. So yeah. And as you can see, the, the US version is a bit fatter too. It's a bit more fluffy. Uh, Japan version surprisingly is heavier uh, although they're not as padded as as the US version but they definitely have more beans in the belly uh, than the US I notice so really cool okay and then this is rock fort the mouse or the cat check him out his nose is a little crooked so yeah the one thing I don't like about zoom zooms is they're not all made equal some of them have like distorted ears it's a little crooked crooked nose or eyes are crooked yeah this this rock fort looks a little a little funky but that's fine it has a little tail oh that's stuck okay got it and then yeah nothing at the bottom and then next up we have burleys i think that's the name it's a little bow tie red collar sideburns the fluffy tail nothing at the underbelly at the tags and then we have Tulu with a blue bow tie sideburns got a little little hair up here we got a blue collar nothing at the underbelly except for the bow tie and then a fluffy tail <clears throat> and then last but not least we have Thomas O'Malley the last one I got for this collection and he's got the green bow tie he's got a silver collar and doesn't have a fluffy tail it's just got a regular tail and then it's got like a little little um, printed part back here for the tail end and uh, yeah so yeah Aristocats I definitely need to watch it and learn about the all the different characters and yeah I, I it is old i think it came out in the 80s so it is a bit older but really cool set i love the japanese versions of these really good quality i love the the materials more in the uh, japanese version than i do in the american version although both have their differences and you know similarities like i said with the especially with the snout uh on the u.s versions of um thomas amali you can tell definitely tell and some other characters but let's go ahead and move on all right <clears throat> up next we have a target exclusive and this was a target superhero set that was released in may of 2018 and this featured four of the characters uh obviously comes with mini mickey goofy and daisy sorry i almost said donald um i find it very odd that they included goofy but not donald i wish they included um Donald instead if they're only gonna do four I'd rather just have Donald instead of Goofy just so that they can pair up with Daisy So it definitely is definitely interesting that they went with this uh, set of characters But um, anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about it. This is also a pretty rare set This was only released in the US. I believe um, I don't know if it released in the UK or not, but um, as far as I know, at least in the uh, US. And here's Minnie, and it's got her little cape, MM for Minnie Mouse. That's really cute. And then she's got like a belt back here. 
Um, the stitching is a little bit weird. See, yeah, I wish there was better quality control for this stuff, or at least for me, because I'm really OCD about this stuff. But yeah, so she's got a little belt, and then I guess it's like a little skirt, and then nothing in her belly. And then we have Mickey Mouse here with his little bandana or the eye covering. And then he's also got a cape that has MM for Mickey Mouse. And then here he has his belt, just a gold belt, yellow belt. And then, yeah, his belly. And then here we have Goofy with his protective suit. And I guess it also covers his ears too because it's blue. And then he still has his signature hat and this little little three pieces of hair, strands of hair. And then he's got this little belt. Isn't that cool? And then um, these triangle things, I don't know what they're supposed to represent, but it's really cool. <clears throat> and then last but not least, I think the coolest character is Daisy Duck. And then she's got like a little headband here with a little diamond shape. Um, got like a little collar thing going on, almost like Doctor Strange here. Her belt's really detailed. Um, and then she's got a little skirt to go off, and then her tail, and then her belly. Yeah, she kind of she kind of looks like a magic user, you know. But yeah, this is the uh, superhero set from Target from 2018. Really cool set, pretty rare. Um, I found only two listings at the time I was searching. Um, the first listing I was able to get a Minnie Mouse and a Daisy Duck. <clears throat> so. The seller didn't have the Mickey or the Goofy, and then uh, from the same sellers as the Incredible series, um, I bought this from the same person. So I actually overpaid a little bit because my Goofy self, um, for some reason, I have two eBay accounts. One I use at work and one I use at home. So when I was at work, I initially started the bid and I set my limit to like $40 or something because I knew these are pretty rare. And then when I went home, I double checked my eBay account and I didn't see any bids. Um, so I thought either the seller took down the listing or something happened so I rebidded. And I think I, sh I used $45 as the max bid on my uh, personal account. So obviously my other account got outbidded by my at home account. So I had to pay like $45 for these when I could have probably won it for like $20. So goof on my part. So yeah, really cool. All right, getting to the end. Um, we'll start with this by itself. So this is a Hong Kong exclusive. This is uh, Duffy and Shelly May Lunar New Year's orange set and <clears throat> I really like the Hong Kong tags they're really clean and simple not a mess and I love how it says Hong Kong Disneyland um, I wish Japan also just says Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo at Sea Disneyland and then back here it's got like their sticker of authenticity and then it has the price tag 238 Hong Kong dollars so really cool really like that um, and then it has like a little hang little hang tag here um, yeah this orange is a bit big so I gotta make sure it stays a little bit back um, and then inside these are held by little plastic clips um, here so I can't really yank them out but as you guys can see their outfits in here are Lunar New Year theme and then this set came out in 2016 January and then here we go. She's got like some flowers on her, a little bow tie. I always love her blue eyes. They're so pretty. I love Shelly's eyes. But yeah, so I think I got this for 30, 35 dollars, something like that. Um, pretty good, brand new. I got this from a seller who sold me a couple other things and I was able to talk her down to a decent price. Um, really like this. I'm definitely excited to hang this up during Lunar New Year's for 2024. Um, so yeah, always buying things for decorations for the following year. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. On that train of Lunar New Year stuff, I also picked up um, a, another set. This is also uh, a Lunar New Year set, and this is from 2018 of January. All from Hong Kong as well. And then it features, um, <clears throat> I think it's Gelatoni, um, Duffy, Shelly Mae, and um, I forgot the rabbit's name. 
um, I think it's like Lou, something Lou. Sorry to do my research, guys. I just got really excited to talk about all this with you guys, so excuse me. But um, yeah, so first off, we got the rabbit, and then check out her beautiful dress with the little skirt, her little bunny tail. And then she's got like this little divot in here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but really cool. It's got like a hair tie here. And then Gelatoni. I love his purple pants and this little hat. Check that out. And then these retailed for, I actually don't know. So they use the same color code uh, as Disneyland Resort uses. So you would only know if you had the legend at the store. So mint, I think is on the cheaper end or in the middle. I don't remember exactly. Um, I'm guessing these probably total up to be probably six or seven dollars each in US. And then we have Duffy here. Check him out. He's also got a hat, purple pants. We got a hidden Mickey here. Looks like he's got like a little pocket. Oh, and check this out. He's got an underbelly printing. Now this is really cool. I love that detail. Another pocket. And then these guys also have it too. Isn't that call cool? It looks like a scarf. That's really cool. And then just a little string for her dress. And then last but not least, we got Shelly Mae with the purple tie or bow tie. Bow tie. Purple headband or ribbon. Her cute blue eyes and then her dress. Another hidden Mickey there. And then her underbelly. Isn't that awesome? All right. <clears throat> so I got that set off of Macari. And I think I got it for like 40 or $30. So pretty good for old stuff that's exclusive from another country. All right, so last but not least here, we have Pocahontas. So Pocahontas came out in February of 2018, and this was a really, really hard one to get. Super duper rare and very expensive. Um, I think I paid probably $70, $75 for this before shipping and tax. Um, and I got this combined with something else. I forgot what it was. Um, I think it was actually Mr. Fredrickson, <laughs> alien version. So I got these two. Um, together and uh, yeah so this features Miko, Flit, um, and then I forgot his name I think it's John Smith yeah John Smith, Pocahontas herself and then Percy so let's go ahead and go through it um, and I'm gonna be up front right now that this is actually not a complete set so my Miko doesn't belong from this set this actually came in the Japanese 25th anniversary box as well so as you can see no paper tag and then his eyes are actually different so the one that came with this set his eyes are actually black all black so you can't see the um the black eyes so yeah i'm gonna try to find the one that goes with the set but the cheapest one I saw was on eBay for $75 plus $5 shipping. So I'm not paying $80 because that's pretty much what I paid for the entire set. So that's kind of crazy. So hopefully I can find another seller that has it. But for now, this Mika will do better than nothing. Okay. And then next up we have Flit. Check him out. Um, I will say his beak is a little bit crooked or the eyes are crooked. So not a huge fan of that. Um, and then yeah, it's got like little hairs up here. He's got like little wings on the side and instead of, like little feet And he got little feet All right, instead of little hands. He gets like, these little wings and then a little tail And then I think these are only released in the US or UK as well not released in Japan. So yeah and Percy His look at his little snout it is so crooked but I love his little ears and looks like his ears are kind of shut in. I guess it's made like that. So can't see it. It's got a little collar. It's white and a little white tail. And then down here, got a white belly. Okay. And then we're going up on Pocahontas herself. Check that out. And then you see her hair. And then I love how you can move her hair and you can see the, the belt on her. Is that cool? And then little blue necklace I believe she has, but it doesn't go underneath here, unfortunately. 
And then we got John Smith. And this guy's hat and his little cape thingy, his shirt. And then um, for some reason, they put his hands up here. And, um, or, or I don't know if those are ears. This might be ears, this is his hands, and then his little feet right here. So that's really interesting. Um, yeah, I think these are little ears. But yeah, check that out. So, boom, that's it. We're at the end. Ooh, okay, so that was a qu quite a long video. I didn't expect it to be that long. I was hoping to get it done a lot faster and it's just really hot in here. I'm sweating like crazy. Um, purposely closed the window so there's no outside sounds. I can't turn the fan on because it's too loud. My microphone will pick it up. So I've been getting toasted in here, but I know I didn't do it as smoothly as possible uh, for you guys. and. Um, definitely need to do my research next time I wrote stuff on a piece of paper at least for the release dates and stuff like that but I definitely blanked out on some of the character names and that's because I never watched the movie or I'm not uh, that attached to the character the set so that was my bad having to go back and forth look at my laptop uh, just to get the names down so definitely can approve on that um, but uh, other than that yeah I like the new style I don't know how it's gonna look when I edit it I guess we'll find out but in terms of you know collecting zoom zooms as you guys can see i have definitely quite a bit more to talk about um here on these shelves uh i think i'm probably about 25 30 percent done with those five sets i just introduced you guys in this video um and yeah i find i find it a lot of fun having this collection and then kind of doing an overview just to educate you guys and inform you guys you know when it was released and how long it's been um it's really interesting because uh you know, I don't know a lot of other YouTubers or anyone who collects uh, Zoom Zooms who do videos uh, as a recent, at least in the U.S. Uh, probably someone from overseas, they do it. But uh, in terms of U.S., I don't really see any new YouTube videos uh, with love for Zoom Zooms. I don't know what happened, but they kind of fell off the face of Earth here in the U.S. Uh, I think the last sets was released in, what, 2019 or 2018? I don't know. Um, but uh when it comes when it comes down to it and i think about how long and old these are some of these are minimum minimum of like four four years old up to like seven years old so it's kind of crazy to think how many hands they've been through how many owners they've been through um how where were they stored where were they sitting how were they displayed and um, I'm very OCD so I picked nothing but brand new with the paper tags they have to have paper tags unless they come from a box set they have to have no stains and as little pet and smoke free home as possible I have bought from maybe one or two sellers with, with pets um, and I kind of dusted off the, the fur and stuff like that but other than that pretty good um, so it's kind of crazy to think that yeah some of these are seven years old and they're still in great condition brand new nothing wrong with it um so it's really really fun for me to showcase you guys and you know see the growth of my collection uh alongside you guys so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know if you guys like this new format or you guys prefer me to go back on my bed uh but um if you guys have any preferences let me know i think the bed is nice it's just i really like this backdrop of having everything here it's a lot nicer and more uh things going on in the background besides my you know wall some painting and my polaroid um blackboard uh you know so and this way i can actually show you guys close up what the uh zoom zooms look like so it definitely looks better uh and you guys can see everything clear without having me to um raise my hand and show you guys what the zoom zooms look like and sometimes it focus on my face or objects in the back and then unfocuses so I think this is a lot more better uh, in terms of showing you guys what the zooms look like so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video I'll see you guys in the next one bye